Hello and welcome back to Carvalis YouTube channel. This is your host Pawan and today in this video we will be discussing the difference between four wheel drive and all wheel drive. So please buckle up and let's get going. Four wheel drive is an old school powertrain configuration where each wheel receives the power from the engine simultaneously. This is particularly useful when there are no roads and there is a chance of vehicle getting stuck. Four wheel drive system is further divided into two parts, full time four wheel drive and part time four wheel drive. In full time four wheel drive, as the name suggests, all four wheels are powered at all times. On the other hand, part time four wheel drive generally sends power to the rear wheels in regular driving conditions but can shift to four wheel drive when the need arises. Here, the driver has control when and how to shift into four wheel drive via a mechanical gear lever or an electronic switch. Coming to all wheel drive, as the name suggests, the all wheel drive sends power to all wheels of the vehicle. Now, this might sound similar to four wheel drive, but there's one key differentiating factor. Unlike four wheel drive, in all wheel drive system, there is no separate mechanical lever or an electric switch to shift the vehicle from four wheel drive to two wheel drive. It's the ECM of the vehicle which senses the traction or the loss of traction in fact and then automatically decides when to drive all four wheels without the intervention from the driver. Now both all wheel drive and four wheel drive are beneficial for off-roading where you explore the wilderness as the crow flies. But this also means driving over most unconventional surfaces which puts both the driver and the vehicle beyond their comfort zone. This means while the driver needs a good breather, the engine needs equally good support in the form of a good engine oil. Selecting good engine oil will help the engine perform optimal even in difficult situations. And if you see, use Gulf formula, it claims to offer 75% better wear protection as well. Since you guys are now familiar with both these nomenclatures, let us understand the real world usage. Four wheel drive shines for those who are into hardcore off-roading and love to venture around the trail, go dune bashing or hit the rocky terrain. The addition of a low range transfer case which allows the engine's maximum torque to be delivered at really slow speeds gives the vehicle an added advantage when climbing up a steep hill or loose terrain or getting out of a slushy condition. All-wheel drive vehicles, on the other hand, are generally soft roaders or crossovers like the Skoda Kodiak, the Maruti Suzuki Grand Vitara all-wheel drive and the Volkswagen Tiguan. Compared to proper 4x4s like Isuzu D-Max V-Cross and the Toyota Hilux, they are much lighter, easier to navigate and respond quicker to driver's input. All-wheel drive vehicles are well suited for regions that experience snowfall, heavy rainfall and icy roads. Both these drivetrains have some pros and cons. Let us understand the advantages of the four-wheel drive and also its demerits. By nature, four-wheel drive vehicles are robust and heavy, meaning they can take more beating when you take them off-road. In most cases, four-wheel drive vehicles have higher ground clearance as they are conventionally mounted on ladder on frame structure. This also improves the water wading capacity compared to all-wheel drive vehicles. Four-wheel drive vehicles are usually more analog and less dependent on electronics and thus they tend to be more reliable. Since these vehicles are heavy, they won't score good when it comes to fuel economy. As I said earlier, four-wheel drive vehicles are heavy and based on simple ladder frame architecture that reflects on the ride quality that isn't as pliant as say to a monocop structure. As there are more moving parts, they are also more expensive to buy and have a higher maintenance cost. Now that we have addressed four-wheel drives, let's move on to all-wheel drive and check out why it is more popular. It's a completely automated system, meaning that the driver has no hassle of engaging and disengaging the system. More importantly, it's a smart system, especially for the beginners. 
it offers better drivability and even better fuel mileage compared to rear wheel drive or front wheel drive all wheel drive vehicles offer better grip when power is going to all four sides this reduces the chance of oversteering and understeering when tackling corners of course all wheel drive system also gives you peace of mind when the road tends to disappear on the downside compared to 4x4 all wheel drive system isn't as capable as tackling extreme off-roading conditions since it's an all electronic controlled the complexity of this vehicles may result in more expensive repairs if components fail this also means there's a high chance of failure of electronic kind when tackling extreme conditions like water wading or dune bashing some of the popular cars that are available in india with four wheel drive system are the mahindra thar maruti suzuki jimny toyota hilux mahindra scorpio isuzu d max v cross mg gloster and force gurkha some of the known all wheel drive vehicles in the country are the mahindra xuv 700 maruti suzuki grand vitara toyota urban cruiser high rider skoda kodiak apart from the formatic of mercedes benz x drive of bmw and the motorsport celebrated cotros from audi in conclusion choosing between four wheel drive and all wheel drive depends on your driving needs both of these power trains have the respective merits and drawbacks if you are a true adventure lover and seek to drive around unexplored places you should bet on four wheel drive but if you are someone who resides in an area with challenging terrains and uncertain weather conditions like snow and rain all wheel drive can be a good choice thank you for tuning in if you like the video do hit the like share and subscribe button don't forget to leave your thoughts in the comment section below until then drive safe